It's nice and humid in here. Not great for a person, great for an Asian water monitor. What is going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another video and get ready for one that is probably going to be pretty long. As you can see behind me, there is some framing being built by myself and all of this is going to be part of a new enclosure for an Asian water monitor. Now if you watched one of my previous videos, you saw this drawing. You saw that drawing. Now that drawing is an eight foot by six foot by four foot Asian water monitor enclosure that I am in the process of building now. So the last one I built was four feet by two feet by two feet. This one makes that one look tiny. I didn't show any of the process of building the frame just because it would have been all time lapses and I don't think it would have been that cool to watch, but I'll give you guys a little rundown of what I have done so far. So, so far, I've got this done right here. This is just the stand that it's gonna sit on. It's about a foot and a half tall. This section right here is going to be the dry land section. I added supports in all of the corners as well as some support beams there. This part is roughly five feet by four-ish feet. Uh, and this is gonna be the dry land section. And then that section over there is roughly three feet by four feet. And that is going to be the water section. So I'm just about to start screwing on the panels. It's gonna start to look like a cage. Hopefully by the end of today. Uh, this build is far more advanced than my carpentry level. So my neighbor has been helping me out. I've done everything myself. He's just helping me out with like the knowledge portion. And I'm not gonna lie, it's not perfect so far, but it's well beyond what I thought I was able to do. This is gonna be a long one, guys. Do me a favor, smash the like button now, comment down below, wish me some good luck, and uh, let's get rolling. So as you guys can see, I've got one side. This is gonna be the right side looking at it clamped down. Now I just have to go through and add a whole bunch of holes like this and those are going to be screw holes that are going to hold this onto place because right now it's only being held on by clamps so i've got to drill like probably a hundred holes and then uh, screw in this side and then we have one panel on making progress we got the first side panel on now i have to do the back panel but as you can see this side panel is going to go on that side closest to you guys sorry it's kind of dark in there but basically got this all on then these edges right here sealed with silicone and then this is all going to be filled with spray foam got a whole bunch of cases of spray or a whole bunch of bottles of spray foam rather as you can see all right here i'm sure that's not going to be enough to finish but it'll be enough to at least get me started uh, and then it's going to have kind of the same naturalistic background for now just got to cut one of these big pieces of plywood down to fit on the back and then uh, we'll see how it looks. Yesterday you guys saw me cutting panels over here and those panels were going on to the actual cage to make it look more like a cage instead of just a wooden frame box. And now, got all of that done yesterday aside from the tops and the bottoms of like the interior. So this is what we're working with so far. As you can see, it is starting to look like a cage. The stand I might just leave kind of open on the bottom how it is. Uh, just to make accessing because there's gonna be a water feature in here to make accessing the drain a little easier so right now i'm about to do the tops as well as fitting in like a floor piece on the bottom and then i'll be sealing all of these edges all right there right there right there here on the bottom with silicone so i got to make a couple cuts right now for the bottom and the top and then once i get the bottom and the top in i'll bring you guys back and show you how it's looking so just to give you an idea of what i was talking about and what i was doing so as you can see i added a floor on to right here so you can't see that cross beam that was right there and then i put the roof on this one as well uh, i gotta remove those clamps it's all screwed in so i still have to cut a hole up here that's going to be for lighting um but i'm going to worry about that probably Maybe at the end of the day today, just depending on what all I get done. But now I have to do everything that I just did to this smaller piece, which again is going to be the water feature area, to this bigger piece, so it needs the roof, and then a piece on the bottom. It's a lot of work. Uh, it's also relatively hot. It's probably like 90 degrees out right now, so I'm definitely sweating. But just rolling with the punches and keeping it going. So got pretty much everything I wanted to get done done, aside from a couple of things. Uh, I didn't get to do the six inch support up at the top or the two foot one down at the bottom. I might get to that later today or I may do it um, tomorrow after work. I'm not 100% sure. I am still working. Unfortunately, I am deemed mission essential 
schedule, so we're doing like one week of teleworking, then one week of actual working. But, uh, to show you guys what I have done so far. So I got both of the bottoms in. It was kind of a pain in the butt, just because I had to cut the plywood to that shape. And obviously you can see, you know, it's not perfect. There's a little bit of gaps and stuff right there, but that's all gonna be filled in with silicone to seal it, so it doesn't really matter. And then I got both of the roofs on. Now you may be wondering, Andy, why the hell would you put the roof on, then cut most of it out? Uh, and that's mainly for ventilation purposes, right? It's gonna get pretty hot in this garage. Hopefully I won't really have to use much heating. If anything, I'm gonna have to buy an AC to cool off the garage or some fans, but that's why the whole top is off for ventilation on this side and then a little bit smaller on this side because this is gonna be the water feature. Uh, and then I'm gonna be cutting some more vents right here and then in the same spot on the other side. But I think I'm gonna call it quits for right now, maybe for today, but I might come back in later tonight and do, like I said, that uh, top section and then the bottom section. I'm happy with uh, how it's going so far. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys think it's gonna turn out as awesome as I, seeing it, I see it turning out in my head? Because I feel like it's gonna look crazy good. You know, definitely still a ton more work to do, but with a project like this, you kind of just get more and more work as you go. Lots of money spent so far too, so definitely like the video, you know, let's try to get a couple thousand views on this one, make a little bit of money, you know, just a little bit. I'm not asking for a hundred thousand. Just like, you know, two, two, three thousand views. That's all I want. Share it somewhere. Share it with your friends. So I did decide to come back outside and finish up the six inch panels on the top as well as the 24 inch panels down on the bottom. So effectively, the building stage is pretty much done, I think. Um, I'm still debating how I'm gonna separate the dry land side from the water side. Um, right now, there's no real separation. I might order like a a pool from Universal Rocks that I can just slap in and foam and then it'll be done. That would be the most convenient way to do it, but uh, that stuff is a little bit expensive, so we'll see what I end up deciding to do. But here is the, um, not the final product, but the final product with all of the building 99.9% .9 complete. We got the two foot panels down on the bottom on each side, six inch panels up at the top. These are gonna be some sort of window. I don't know if I'm gonna do a door or sliding glass yet. I'm still not 100% sure. These will be silicone sealed in the middle. That's why you can see there's a little bit of a gap. Um, when I put them on the stand, they'll be sealed together. That way when I go to take it apart, I can just slice down. It'll come apart into this piece, this piece, and then the base. That'll make it easier to transport. Got the big holes cut in the top like you guys saw. Bottom floor is all done. And again, I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna separate the water feature from the dry land feature. I'm happy with the progress that I made today. Uh, I may go in in silicone. If I do, I will show you guys that. Uh, and then if not, we'll take on the siliconing another day. Now, my big project is to go in and use this rotary sander right here. Basically, it's just a little sander that's that spins around just to sand up and smooth out the wood and then I have to seal it all with some wood sealant. So for now, my job is just to get in here and start sanding. Like I said, you just take this thing, uh, turn it on and start sanding. Pretty much finished up the sanding and to give you guys an idea of kind of the difference that it makes. So this piece right here is unsanded and kind of see what that looks like. You can see like a lot of the flaws and stuff in the wood. And then this piece is sanded. So you can just tell it looks like a little bit smoother. Pretty much all around, nice and smooth. It kind of makes the wood look a little bit lighter too. But unfortunately when you do that, it creates a ton of dust and you can't put the sealant on there with it all dusty. So now I have to go get the compressor and pretty much blow this all out uh, to try to get all that dust out, which is gonna make dust go everywhere in my garage. It's gonna suck. To give you guys an idea, this is before I even blow it out. This was clean earlier. You can see dust. It's all wiped down now. Most of the dust is out. I'm sure there's still a little bit left, but it's gonna be impossible to get all of it. So now I've got this stuff. It's a water-based polyurethane sealer. Um, so I'm gonna crawl inside, get all set up, and then I'm gonna start sealing the inside of the enclosure. This will help prevent things like rot in the wood and stuff from humidity. Um, given that there's gonna be a water feature and everything, you want it to be nice and locked down. And then tomorrow, once this all dries, I have to go in and silicone all of the edges. Just like that, I am done sealing the inside. I sealed the whole top, as well as all of the sides and the floor. Uh, I'm gonna let this dry overnight. Tomorrow, I'll go in and silicone all of the thousands of edges that are in there. That is going to be uh, quite the undertaking. It's probably gonna take me a little while to go in and do that. 
Then the next day, I'm gonna go in and use the rubber in a can stuff that I use for the bottom of the snake cage. And I'm gonna do the same thing. The whole entire bottom is gonna be covered in that rubber coating. So that's just like an extra layer of waterproofing. And then I'll go in with foam over all of that as well. So it's really like three or four different layers of waterproof waterproofing just to make sure that the wood doesn't kind of warp and expand and stuff. But for Ted, but for today, this is what we've got. Kind of hard to tell, but you can see the wood looks kind of like rough and untreated on the outside. But then if you look on the inside, you can see it's smooth. And then on the bottom, you can almost see like a little bit of a milky color. And that's because the stuff that goes on is basically like the consistency of milk. Uh, and then you just wait for it to dry. And where that looks milky, it'll eventually look like that where it is all clear. So far, so good. No big disasters yet, but uh, hopefully, knock on wood, hopefully nothing happens, but hope you guys are enjoying so far. As I said yesterday, the cage is all sealed now. It looks great, and uh, you can't really even tell that anything is on there. The wood just looks normal now that it's dry. You guys can see, it just looks like normal plywood. Now I gotta load up my little cock gun that I just borrowed from my awesome neighbor. Thank you, Robbie, if you ever see this because uh, I have no idea where mine is. I've got five tubes of silicone. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to do the whole thing, but I should be able to get a bulk of it done. Uh, and I'll basically show you guys what I'm doing. Just give me one second to get the little gun loaded up. Just dropped my pan. If you guys have never seen this done before or you don't know how it works, basically this is just a tube of silicone. This one is almond colored. You can get all kinds of different colors. I use brown when I do the foaming. You cut the tip off. Generally you would use something better than needle nose pliers, but that's what I had right next to me. Shape that out so it's nice and straight. So now there's a hole in there, but that's still sealed on the inside. Take your little gun, flip that, poke a couple holes down in there like that. Wipe that off. Then this thing just goes down in there, sits on that, and then boom. You use this to fill all your little gaps and cracks. It is very humid today, so I am kind of sweaty. Apologize for that. Um, but to give you guys a better idea of what I'm doing, I didn't actually like show you guys. So you can see on this side of the cage, all in all of those corners where like all of the wood pieces connect, there's nothing that's sealing that, right? So water could theoretically get like in, be in behind that and then uh, things will expand. So what you do, and I'm sure there's someone that's gonna lose their mind because this is like the sloppiest job ever, but I don't really know what I'm doing. Basically, you just take this gun right here and just run it along all of the edges. And then I just go in and I smooth it out. Uh, and I use my hands to smooth it out. I think there's a tool that you can buy, but that's why it looks like kind of rough. But what you guys gotta understand is that all of this is gonna have foam covering it, so this is not gonna be visible at all. So I don't really care what it looks like as long as it's getting into all of those cracks, you know what I mean? Because once I once this dries tomorrow, I'm gonna go in with all the spray foam that I have and spray foam over all of this to create the naturalistic looking background. And then I'm gonna have to go over silicone, all of that, then put dirt on top of it like you guys have seen me do in the past. I've got the bigger side of the cage done completely now, all of that silicone. So now I just have to do this smaller side. I have two and a half tubes left. I used two and a half on the big side, so I should have more than enough to finish the complete inside. And then I'll go back through and uh, get the uh, get the pieces that I missed, like if there's a little crack or somewhere that I didn't get, I'll go back and do all that, but uh, got one more side to do, and I'll bring you guys back to show you the finished product. I'm drenched in sweat. Uh, it's nice and humid in here, not great for a person, great for an Asian water monitor. Um, so, here's the final result. Everything is nice and sealed, all at the tops, at the bottom. I did, like, if there was some little tiny splits in the wood, I sealed those. Sealed screw holes on this side, just because that side's gonna have the water tank on it, so I'm assuming water will spill eventually. Um, but it's all gonna be foamed into, like I said, you're not even gonna see any of this silicone, so don't judge the fact that it looks like crap. Tomorrow, we start, actually, so tomorrow, I gotta flex seal the whole bottom over all the silicone, and then the day after that, we will start foam. So foam in two days. <sighs> We're getting close and it's coming together. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you think I suck, or do you think it's doing great? because I'm still pretty impressed with how well it's turning out. So as I said, uh, the next step is going to be foaming, and I kinda lied to you guys a little bit. My neighbors are going by right now and staring at me while I'm filming. 
Um, and so I lied a little bit. I decided that there was too much vertical space that wasn't being used, so I decided to add in some shelving. So this is basically what I built. So you can see there's this first ramp that goes all the way from the bottom up here to this first shelf, and then there's a very, very, like, very steep, I guess you would call it, ramp that goes up to right there. That's a 36 inch long basking shelf. And I did that because, you know, I'm only gonna have to heat a couple feet down to get that 130 degree hotspot versus heating like almost six feet down to get the 130 degree hotspot. Uh, so I just think it'll be a lot easier to achieve the hotspot right there. My light also just went out. I'm not sure, oh, well, it came back on. So now I gotta go ahead and get the foam to start foaming in the walls. Not sure how I'm gonna do the ramp yet. I don't know if I'm gonna foam it or I'm not sure what. I do have some slate. Uh, that stuff right there is gonna be for the basking spot and that's just so it heats up a little bit better. My neighbors are going crazy right now and trying to distract me while I'm trying to film. Um, but time to start the foam. So this is the spray foam that I use. This is great stuff, gaps and cracks filler. Uh, works amazing, but if you guys wanna see that, you're going to have to come back for part two. That's right, I am gonna start the foam in part two because uh, I don't want this to be like a 40 minute long video and obviously this is a very big and in-depth build. Haven't even started the water feature yet, that's gonna take a lot of time. So, come back for part two, hopefully it'll be up in, I don't know, I'm gonna have more videos out before part two is up just because there's so much stuff that I need to do for part two. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you're new here, hit that notification bell and let me know what you guys think of the build so far. I will see you in the next video. Peace.